Is that the motion moved by the member for Stirling be agreed to? And I call the member for New England. Well, thank you very much, Mr. Deputy Speaker. And I rise today to support this motion and note not only that uh, is it applicable on a census, but it also honours families. Uh, Mr. Deputy Speaker, uh, my family has had a long uh, history in the Defence Force. Uh, obviously, my father coming from New Zealand, but my grandfather. Uh, on the other side being uh, obviously an Australian. Um, whether it's my grandfather on my father's side who uh, started at the very bottom in regular uh, in the artillery and went through the First World War, uh, through Gallipoli, through the Western Front where he got a DCM, um, and then between the wars maintaining himself in uh, also staying with the uh, full-time uh, army. And then in the Second World War, and chasing the Japanese around the Pacific right up to Guadalcanal. At uh, one stage, uh, he got a DCM, Distinguished Conduct Medal for Bravery Under Fire in the Western Front, and uh, arrived at Gallipoli on the first day, left on the last, uh, and all the way through had a distinguished career. In the, in the Second World War, at one stage, he was declared missing. In fact, I went to my grandmother and told her that he was missing, uh, only to be later discovered. I think the story was he was in a uh, boat with two Islanders and they discovered where to find an island and uh, got the uh, boat they were in to get back there. Uh, so it's a distinguished career. My father was repatriated after getting smashed up. The, uh, uh, an anti-aircraft gun was uh, on, a, on a crane and swung back and hit him against the wall, taking out his leg. Um, and uh, he was on embarkation to the Italian peninsula. So, my other grandfather was in the Air Force, but he, but he was a wireless operator on the Western Front. Uh, he joined when he was 16, and he looked 16. He lied uh, to go off to, to war. Uh, and so, and my grandmother, uh, so the story goes over a range of conflicts. She was English. She had seven brothers. They're all killed. Uh, so what this means is that it's not only also within a nation, but in families themselves that have a strong connection to the Defence Force. For my very, very, very small part, I joined the Army Reserve, 1809842 is my Reggie number. And, um, and what, uh, that was just really to show that you did your bit. Uh, and knowing fully well, the only thing below me in the Army Reserve was a boiled potato. I recognise that, but uh, still, I think that it was important that everybody does their bit. And therefore, I think it's important for the nation that you've got to, if you believe in this country, uh, you've got to put your money where your mouth is. And uh, obviously service for your nation is something that's incredibly important. Other people do it in other ways. They might do it in charity groups. They might do it in the police force. Uh, they, they, they do other things that take that next step because this nation is made up of three different groups of people. One group of people throw papers out the window of a car because they really don't care about the nation. And they're always going to be with us and there's nothing you can do about them. There's another group of people who um, complain about the papers that are out on the road and talk about how bad other people are, but then there's a special group of people who go out and pick up the papers and don't complain about it. And it's a paper picker up is in our nation which makes this nation a strong place. And a big group of them are people who serve in our defence force uh, because they are doing extra and beyond really what is, what is asked of them. And we see them all around and a lot of the times we don't recognise them. Um, a partner's brother did 10 years in the Navy. I know she had another brother that, was, uh, that enlisted in the, in the Army for a period. And all these people have, a, have really could have had greater opportunities had they just stayed on Civvy Street, had they just stayed possibly in many instances just to go on and get a trade or to go to university. But there's something that inspires people for the sake of our nation to, jo to join up, as they say. And so um, I think that this is a good move. And I think that it hopefully inspires other people to take that next step. Because unless we have people who are prepared to serve our nation and protect our nation, then by the hard lesson of history, there will come a time where you won't have a nation because you'll no, have no one to protect that nation. And in the, we can all see that there, the times for us uh, with, the fight, with the passing of Pax Americana, and you'd have to say that is happening, we're coming to a more precarious time. So once more, we are going to have to, in a vastly more deliberate way, call on Australians, both men and women, to serve our nation so as our nation can be sustained.